Hello and welcome everyone to Gold Asset of the Day for the 4th of August 2021 presented by myself Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So as we head into a new week here, what do you need to be aware of? Well with respect to gold, in the last week hedge funds and money managers have yet again added to their overall long position. So with that, 76% are long which is a 1% increase in the latest week and of course last week Gold had the slingshot move higher, exactly as we expected and talked you through last week. Great buy opportunity at that 1793 to 1795 zone that we identified with you, which would have essentially booked you 400 points in the last week. So as you know, for every one lot contract that you'd be trading, that's $4,000 of profit. For every 10 lot contract that you'd be trading, that's $40,000 of profit. Feel free to go back and watch last week's gold asset of the day where we talked you through that in a lot of detail. So with respect to this week, what are the levels that we're looking at now? So over this week, we've got a major news item, which is Friday's non-farm payroll data, which is typically a catalyst for big moves in the market. Recently, gold, of course, has been consolidating between 1790 up towards that 1835 zone, retesting that one month high just last week. Now at the moment, gold prices, they still remain in that consolidation range. And I would look at buy opportunities this week at the 1800 level. If you can get under 1800 US dollars per ounce in terms of positions, even better. But I'm essentially looking again for a retest back towards the recent swing highs. So I moved back towards the one month highs and perceiving buy opportunities with retest back to that 1800 level. US dollar index right now is consolidating at 92. It's had four consecutive days of pressure to the downside last week. It's broken down to one month lows. We've also seen the gold to silver ratio rolling over as well. So with the pressure to the downside, on the gold silver ratio, silver is currently outperforming gold. And we talked to you through that multiple times previously for that buy zone on silver between $24 to $25 per ounce. Right now, silver is trading at $25.55 per ounce. So I hope many of you were able to capitalize on the recent dips that we had on silver. We had over a 3% breakout to the upside last week after the FOMC statement. Another major news item to look out for will be the Jackson Hole Symposium, which will be at the end of August, which is utilized by the Fed to drop major changes and shifts in monetary policy, especially ahead of the September FOMC statement. And of course, Friday's non-farm payroll figures, they will be utilized, that data, for decisions made at the August Jackson Hole Symposium. So again, it could be a catalyst for some big moves in the precious metals. And right now, you want to take advantage of the volatility. Commodities, they don't move in a straight line. They will zigzag, and it really is down to you to keep capitalizing on this range-bound price action, be nimble, banking profits regularly. What we're seeing a lot out there at the moment is much of the retail market, they keep getting chopped up in this range-bound price action, utilizing outdated strategies which keep giving them confirmation too late. So for example, last week when gold prices broke out to one month highs, they're buying in too late into the move, then they get chopped up and liquidated on the sell-off that we saw on Friday with the end of month profit taking. Subsequently, they turn for a sell short, thinking the markets have now turned and going bearish, only to find that they've sold right at the low of the move before you get that slingshot move higher in order to really capitalize on the current volatility. Right now, it is really a trader's paradise at the moment. Hedge funds, banks, institutions, they are making billions in the commodity markets, and we don't want you to miss out on the massive opportunities that we have right in front of us. In fact, already just eight months into the year, many of our clients at the Gold and Silver Club, they're achieving six and seven figures so far in 2021. So with that, if you would like to learn the research-driven approach to the market, really get rid of those outdated technical strategies because we don't want you to be stuck in the same position in three months, in six months, in nine months, in 12 months, which is to continually keep getting chopped up. Technical analysis is basically the first thing Everybody is taught technical analysis in 2021 is the equivalent to driving around in a horse and cart. It's completely outdated. Nobody really takes it seriously. And you want to make sure that you are trading with an edge in the market, utilizing data, market intelligence, statistics, facts in the market, alongside 
daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly cycles in the market, understand key areas of liquidity. Alongside that, be aware of the intermarket correlations, the ratios, sentiment in the market, marry that up with macroeconomics and also understanding of where the hedge funds, money managers, banks and institutions are positioning themselves that will help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to learn our research-driven approach to the market, join our community of successful traders and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to join our professional mentorship program.